We've traveled the country in search of the mad geniuses who've taken their love of cars and food to the extreme. Partnering with Mobile One, the experts in delivering performance beyond expectations, we've found culinary connoisseurs who've created the most mind-blowing grills. Mobile One presents Extreme Grillers. The first thing people notice when they come in is our smoker. The car smoker came from always wanting to repurpose stuff, and that's kind of a southern thing, I believe. My granddad built the first smoker out of a big drum, and he was a welder, and he put some hinges on a drum, and he could do amazing food out of it. And it just kind of inspired me to want to build one myself. The smoker is a 52 Ford that my husband welded into an indirect heat smoker. We started Stout Market two years ago, and that's when we had an idea. We knew we needed a big smoker. I've always been wanting to build one out of the front end of a car. When my husband told me he wanted to make a smoker out of an antique car hood, I thought he was crazy. I was looking for something with some space in it. I wanted to be able to do eight shoulders if I needed to, and big old Fords have a lot of room in the front end. I've been out here in Colorado about six years, originally from Memphis, Tennessee. Growing up in Memphis, it's a bluesy town. It's a different part of the world compared to most places. There's a smoker on every corner. Barbecue is very important to my husband. He was pretty much raised cooking meat. Good Memphis barbecue would be something that's been basted a hundred times. It's got to be cooked slow. We've got about eight racks on right now, running about 200 degrees for six hours at least. Your smoker is the only tool you need if you know how to use one. You can do anything on a smoker. We do corn, salmon, chicken. We do a great pork around here. We found the 52 Ford. It was upside down in the back of an old guy's yard, and he basically just wanted to get rid of it for a couple bucks. The first time I saw the car, I thought there's no way this thing's gonna hold any heat. When my husband was working on the car, he'd pretty much stay up 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A good friend of mine from Georgia helped me build it, and one of the main problems we ran into when we were trying to build it was we had to fix a lot of rust damage. We basically had to tape it up and bondo, clean up all our sidewalls, so we sanded every bit of the inside and then refinished the outside. We built the box and started here and built it basically around our frame of the 52. The best thing about it is, is the thickness. It really holds heat well. It's got a nice seal. Our indirect heat is built out of an old air compressor. A handful of charcoal works to keep it at temperature for hours. To take a rusted up piece of junk in someone's yard to this smoker that we pull the best ribs you've ever had off of, I just thought it was incredible. When we finally got it finished, the best part was when people came by to take pictures with it. Our first couple batches of ribs were some of the best I've ever had. I mean, people really wanted them off of the car smoker. If my husband wants to make another smoker, I will be 100% supportive of him. I think my dream smoker would be made out of about a 1960 Cadillac. You could put a lot of meat on that thing. Learn more about Mobile One at mobileone.com.